you are a Christian first and before anything That's else, right. black, white, right. or whatever, right. you know, we are, you know, Christians and, and all of this other stuff is like secondary. And that is everything. If, if, yeah. if, as parents, I think one of the number one goals a good father and mother should have is to instill that child's identity, their understanding of who they are. Right. And like Aaliyah said, in Christ. Mm -hmm. That kind of yeah, shook me because these are not my sons, but they are, but they're not. Yeah. That right, is but they so are, but they're not. And I'm yeah. just a steward of them. But yeah, he said, watch how you talk to my son. That is so wow. Yeah. Hello and welcome to another episode of Winning Conversations. Today we have Eric and Aaliyah Leonard. How are y'all? Hello, we're wonderful. Well, welcome today. to the podcast. Thank you. Are Thank you, you nervous? A little bit. No pressure. It's, <laughs> it's going to be, be great. It's going to be fun. We're just going to learn deal. about you, y'all's story, all the all those good things. Okay. We have a very special guest host here today, Mr. Ryan Flowers. He's been on one episode and now he's a professional. I'm so cute. That's, right. <laughs> That's all it takes. That's just you. <laughs> so it's good to have you too, Ryan. Thank you. So first, Aaliyah is on staff here yes. at Heritage. Tell us a little bit about what you do. I have um, really all of my professional career has been church administration and finance. And so that's what I do here at the church. And how do you like it? I love it. It's like my thing. You love so, your coworkers? Yes, I do. All of them. Some are more special than others. Oh. But. <laughs> Please. But yes. Um, so tell us how y'all met and how y'all came to Heritage. Okay. So um, I'll start with the how you met part. Um, I was chasing her for all of my freshman year. Yeah. <laughs> of college? Of college, yeah. We met in college. I saw her. She was the cutest little thing. Oh. And, uh, but we, we struck off a good friendship first. But I made it clear at the beginning of the friendship that I wanted it to be more. Mm -hmm. But she had a boyfriend in high school and then um, a long-distance relationship, which I knew wasn't going to work out. So I just wanted to buy my time. <laughs> You know, like, wh while I was waiting for the friendship to blossom, I was dating other girls too. So it was a weird little dynamic, yeah. but it was always clear. But to, you had your yeah, eye on her. Right. Even the girlfriends knew that I had, my, well, I guess they maybe knew. Anyway, <laughs> there's something about her. So sophomore there's something year, about her. Yeah, sophomore year, uh, the summer of sophomore year. In fact, all of freshman year, I'd always tell her, hey, break up with your boyfriend. Have you broke up with your boyfriend? Like, what's going on? And it just became just a common Pressure. joke. Pressure. It was just a joke, though. But it was a thing amongst our friends. And so uh, if I didn't say it every day, it was every other day. So finally, the summer of freshman year, she broke up with a boyfriend, came back as single as a sophomore, <laughs> and the rest was history. So we Took were, a shot. Yeah, took my <laughs> shot, made the shot. Yeah. And uh, we were together sophomore year, and then married uh, summer of graduation. Nice. Yep, yep, wow. So we went to Oral Roberts University, and um, and it was interesting <clears> because um, we come from two different mm -hmm. backgrounds. I come from here in Fort Worth, like the Stop Six area, so you know it's kind of hood a little bit. It is the hood. It, it is, the hood. Hood. <laughs> it is the hood. Yeah. And um, and he didn't, you know. And so uh, our upbringings were very different, and. The dynamics. I tried to break up with him one time, but that was unsuccessful. Oh my god! I left the meeting like, so we still dating. That didn't go how I thought it was going. <laughs> she did. I don't and know. Yeah. you know, so so it was a lot of wait. You know, why? No well, he reason. Chased her that Just long. Crazy. He was going to give up. Listen, we were sitting in front of uh, we were sitting in front of uh, Claudius was the name of the dorm. It was a nice, pretty day. We we're on the bench, and what it was was. Growing up, her, I don't know, just her communication was just not great. Yeah, so the family dynamics. Instead of dynamics, telling, me, like, telling yeah. me something was oh. wrong or addressing it, she thought we'd just break up. I guess that's what you do in her world. So I just laughed at her like, what What, what are you talking about? <laughs> we're not breaking up. Not breaking. That's pretty much what I said. <laughs> yeah, we're not breaking just, up. Like, a, just completely yeah. dismissed the idea. <laughs> I was like, oh. And told her I'll see you at Saga, which meant dinner later on. Yeah. And that was just it. Yeah. And she so, never tried again. That it's is like, hilarious. Yeah. So from True that story. very moment all the way to even now, it's just like, we are so different, and we come from such different places and backgrounds and perspectives. And but y'all work all of so that. great but together. Yeah. Yes, we we complement each other There's very well. There, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We really do. I feel like he softens you, and maybe she yeah, like hardens you a little bit. Yeah, like, you got to be tough to be around her. You yeah, not come in soft. My yeah, <laughs> she's a tough one. Yeah, yeah. 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 But you're so, you're so, yeah. He's so sweet to you. Thank you. Did you hear to that? Me. Okay. Well, yeah. yesterday, yesterday she was in my office, and when you called, yeah. 
asking if you could bring her lunch. Yes. Right. And yeah. she, did, and she, she refused. very aggressively, yeah, right? Like, don't bring me lunch. What are you thinking? Like, who does that? <laughs> I want to make sure she ate because she rushed out of the house with a granola bar, which let me know then she wasn't going to be eating. And I, I'm over here about to go get something to eat. I'm like, well, I could swing up through and grab you something. And sure enough, she didn't eat until she met me about six o'clock. <laughs> and guess what she ate? What I purchased for her and saved for her. <laughs> I purchased it knowingly and saved that's it what for a, her. That's what she needs, though. She All needs day. a man like, and it's but worked. Yeah, you knew what she wanted, though. Yeah, you that's knew what right, she would right, like. That's yeah, right. that's right. So yeah, so we we have that dynamic. So you know, it, fast forward into having children. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, raising we have four boys, and you know, raising the boys. You know, y'all know. you know about that. Oh yeah, yeah. But it, with children, <laughs> period. Squishy. You know, like yeah, but in boys a relationship are when you yeah. have to like. It's a different dynamic mm -hmm. when two people are trying to figure out, like, the best way to raise this kid, you know, or these children. And mm -hmm. so it's like I have my ways, and I'm like, you know, boom, boom, boom. And he's like, oh, let's just have fun and be spontaneous, <laughs> and let's wake up and just do this. And I'm like, no, 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 we have to do this first. And, you know, so th those things have been, uh, you know, interesting. But we've grown through that. We communicate. We've learned. The grace of yeah. God yeah. has really brought us along in communication, back and forth mm -hmm. with one another, you know, to understand and, you know, just bring us together Um but anyway, yeah. And so, you know, now we're in a season where we have teenagers and they're, you know, oh, in goodness. high school. Yeah. Where's and the rule book? That fun? For yeah. real. But y'all, <laughs> we use y'all as examples in our household. Oh, no, I just want y'all to know. How? Yes. How? So, me and my Ryan, we talk about Mommy. like y'all's parenting styles so much <laughs> because y'all are so, like, y'all's boys are so respectful. Oh, they're thanks. so yeah. great. <laughs> like, even little Nathan is yes. so sweet and so like he will he say thank so you. Sweet. He's so respectful. All he of them is. are though, he and is. so we use y'all as like so parental funny. examples in our <laughs> house. Thank you. I'm like, what would Aaliyah do? <laughs> yeah, I do the same Snake. thing. Yeah, what would Aaliyah do? <laughs> yeah. So, um, but she she's so her style is a little different. She was big in ROTC. Uh, no way. In high school, huge. Were you yeah. really? In high school, huge. all four years. I yeah. can see it. There's a <laughs> little military. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very military. Yeah. There's a picture of her in the front, three people behind her, five people behind her, and then rows, rows, rows of a multitude the rest of, of people the behind them, oh, like wow. the city. So I don't know what her level was, but so she's brought that into our marriage and household. <laughs> she's she's the very general. militant, very the structured. Yeah. Yes. So one the of militant. my boys has me different. in his iPad as Lieutenant Fun Killer. Yeah. <laughs> And they call her the fun zombie, which I kind of laughed zombie. at, but then I kind of had to get on her side and support her. Hey, guys, let's not call her the fun zombie. <laughs> oh yeah. 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 They yeah. do. And so I'm a little so more I own it. You know, I'm not afraid of it, so I own it. I'm like, yeah, okay, so if you know that, then let's get on with it, govern, you know? Her new phrase is govern yourself accordingly. Okay. Yeah. says that. You know who you're working with, govern yeah. yourself accordingly. Yeah. That is hilarious. <laughs> so I'm not that way. I'm, I'm militant in certain ways, but not when it comes to... Anyway, so I'm a lot more free flowing, and we just kind of yes. want to have a good time, enjoy yeah. life, create discipline, good character, yeah. but you know, have fun while you're doing yeah. it. Yeah, but of so thing. that's where you guys, like you guys said, you guys flow yeah. together. Yeah, yes. you know, she's a little good bit balance. harder. You're like, you're a bit more fun yeah. loving, and yeah, yeah. Yes. you guys compliment each other. Yes. Yeah, yes, yes. yes. We have case. we have grown to that point. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, how did y'all get here to Heritage? So, um, we I, I grew up here, so we. You know, where when we got married, we naturally attended because Eric's not from Fort Worth, so we naturally attended my home church, mm -hmm. which I've been in almost all my life, and um, and so there were some things happening in the church where there was like splits and this and that, and we kind of you know started getting a a hint like okay, well we might it might be time, and so one uh, weekend, we had a free weekend, we weren't at church, because I work for that church as well, so, okay. you know, being at church is kind of like expected when you work at the church, right? right? And so, uh, so anyway, one weekend, we had a free weekend to just not be there and then not be questionable. Yeah, <laughs> where we, yeah, where are you? <laughs> and so we, uh, he was like, well, um, I think we're near Jerry Savelle's church, and I'm like, oh, no, that's like far, and he was like, well, let's see. And we looked it up and it was like 15 minutes from our house. So we were like, let's go. The church <laughs> already started or about to start. So we just jumped up and came over. And uh funny thing is when we walked in, church service had already started. But when we walked in, guess who we see at the door? The who? head usher, Tony Jordan. Oh, right. Nice. And so he, I 
known him since I was a girl, like high school oh, and really? stuff, right? So uh, he was so a member of our. Of the he was a member of our previous oh, church. He, he, he and his oh, wife, wow. Rhonda. I didn't know that either. Yeah, uh, they were members of so our church. Each other very well. And so when we saw them, it was like, oh, this like, could be this something like here. Maybe cool. this is yeah. a God thing. Oh man. Yeah. But you, the the reason we were even deciding to leave, it wasn't necessarily because the church splits, because that that was four or five years ago. We had kind of started a new church was started. We committed to it. But long story short, they're just what we we. We became stagnant, yeah, mm-hmm. kind of plateaued spiritually. We weren't growing. We couldn't see much growth in the kids. And we just, you know, when you just, the Holy Spirit's just pulling on you, you mm-hmm. know a decision needs to be made. Right. And you just kind of yeah. put that off so long, or maybe you don't. But either way, it's time to move when you need to move. And so uh, that was the reason we even had the itch to start looking out. She jokingly says that I was trying to leave day one, like, as soon as we got married. <laughs> like, well, I grew up in a very a diverse church. Yeah. I grew up in a very diverse church. And this church was a great church, great leadership. We still know many of them today. A wonderful church. The word of God was being preached. Worship was good. I just like diversity. Mm-hmm. And uh, it, there wasn't very much diversity there. And they did have church like twice a day sometimes, which I'm not... I'm not saying that was the cult- that was one of those cultural differences. Yeah. I'm not an all day church all guy. Day church. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, let's go home. He was like, "We're going back to church." Uh, my relationship is. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. I went today already. I'm oh. not going back. Yeah, I'm like, wrong with that for y'all? But, yeah, uh, for me, I grew up Baptist church. You know, like Once we we go to church multiple times, all the time. That's you know, funny. Yeah. all day. And so he was not with with that. It was funny. Anyway, so so we visited. So we we didn't. Now here's a little bit of more background. We didn't. Um, we were going to the Believers Convention regularly, mm-hmm. oh, yeah. um, so we knew uh, Brother Bill and Mr. Copeland, not knew them, I mean knew of them and followed right. them in their ministries, and uh, of course Brother Jesse and all that, and uh, and we really didn't know Dr. Savelle uh, or of him very well. I just mm-hmm. knew he was, like in my mind then, one of the case, one of the um, Believers Convention guys. Right. I'd say he ran, he runs with or he ran with so-and-so and so-and-so. Right. So um, we were really surprised to hear that someone of that that spiritual caliber was 10 minutes from our house. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so we were like, wow, Intrigued. we got to visit. go over yeah. there and yeah. check that out. I, I really couldn't have picked him out of a lineup when we showed up that day. I really mm-hmm. didn't even know what he looked like, but I knew who he ran with, so to speak. And I knew that if he were, if he were on their level and held their standards, that certainly his ministry would do the same. Right. And then our yeah. family would be able to grow and thrive underneath such leadership. And so yeah. that's all yeah. I needed to know. And so she thought we were going to visit this church. Yep. Visit that church. You had other expectations. I didn't have to say a word. I just knew we'd probably go once. And then that would yeah. be it, and that's what happened. And that's we what visited happened. one Sunday and have and haven't left since. Yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. think the following week we had a meeting with our leadership and sat down with them, you know, like this, and just kind of discussed the reasons we felt like we needed to move on. And they were supportive. And um, not long after, maybe the next weekend. I don't know if we gave too much yeah, time. Yeah, it was. It wasn't very long we were after. Over here, yeah. We've been here when you since. know, you know. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. And Pastor Justin, I mean, he just he, like I said, uh, he. Uh, what's the word? Call out. Uh, well, I don't say call out, word. but yeah, he, he just kind of yeah. like asked yeah. Eric his name he during service. Out. Call him out. Okay. <laughs> call him out. He was like, well, you know, what's your name? And, you know, and I'm just sitting there and everything that Pastor Justin said. So, like I said, I'm kind of militant, right? I'm kind of hardcore. I am not so oh, really? by any means, right? <laughs> However, I sat in that service and I cried the entire service. Oh, wow. After service was over. Eric, who's normally like like a small talk kind of guy, was like, "Oh yes, this is my wife," and I'm sitting there like, "Y'all." Well, I had to kind of cover for her because it was he coming did. off as weird. Because I don't want to fast forward, but she started oh, crying that weird. Sunday, and like the, for like maybe maybe ten Sundays in a Ooh, row. Oh, it was like, like a every wow. Sunday I she'd be like, crying, oh, like wow. to tears because of the word. Coming I'm like, forward. who are they? No matter who okay? it was, where yeah, are I, they I, that's what I had to kind of tell people. She's okay. It, I had to cover. <laughs> Eventually, for her. she's feeling the spirit. It got weird. It got a little odd. It did. I, I can't even like. Trip. That's hilarious. It, it, but it that's did. the level of the word that was and is coming forth. We, and it we, was like uh, everybody who got up in the pulpit everybody. was like an all star. I was like, who is this? And dude? it's still the case. Like, who, who are these lady? people? Like, how did they assemble did they this all star of ministers? Why are they men like women? here? <laughs> Wow. Like the Avengers, yeah, that's kind of how we felt—an all-star lineup of people who are not even word, like, word, who word, are these word. people? Revelation, yeah. and that's what we yeah. were missing, and you know, like yeah. drew us yeah. to to move, you know. And so when we got here, and it was like not just better, but it was like the best. It was like, yeah, oh my the gosh, like yeah. so God clear. is just speaking, and I couldn't hold yeah. it together. It it was easily a couple of months every every Sunday. Finally. I finally got over it. But so the transition was easy for you. The transition <laughs> was easy, but it was so surprising of yeah. like yeah. how 
good it was. I'm like, Lord, you are good. This is crazy. Yeah. How awesome this church is and how yeah. awesome the word can be. You know, because when you've been in yeah. a different environment for so many years, you don't know it's right. something better than that. Right. Except at a conference, right? <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> like one night you feel it like yeah. really intensely. But then it's like on a weekly and, basis. Right. It's like, you know, you just out here, you got fan for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it was not yeah. the way it's that way here. And it's still not, you know, still it's it's so rich. So anyway, she doesn't that's cry how we, anymore, but she does take down like three chapters of notes every <laughs> service. Every service. if you watch her, she doesn't look up. She does this the whole time, just He's notes, like, oh, yeah. notes, notes. So you don't have to transcribe the message. <laughs> yeah, the word is still just as rich. It just it doesn't is. move her to tears like, every Sunday. Yeah, we I, got it on YouTube now. You yeah, can go back you can, and you can watch it. I told her that. Like Aaliyah, receive it differently. Just try it and just take a few notes, then go back later and dictate the whole thing out. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But yeah, anyway. so that's that's how we ended up here. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Seasons and what, of life. When was that? What year was that? Twenty sixteen, August okay. of twenty sixteen. And now you're raising your boys. Yeah. Yes. In this, yeah. Yes, yes. How? Yes. I mean, what is that like? Ooh. So, like I said, they it's we have some adventure. high schoolers. Yeah. So there are challenges, of course, as you know. You know, oh, yeah. there are challenges as they get older. They are boys, and they are all boys. Okay. Yeah. And uh and we have four boys. I don't know if I said that. We have four boys. And so um so it's a it's a challenge. It's it's easy from a church perspective because the church is so awesome. Mm -hmm. The ministries are so awesome. The people and the youth leaders and all of that are so great. And so that aspect is easy. Um at home, you know, we're very word centered and so yeah. we like I have Bibles in my car and I'm like, "Hey, open it up to what's today?" The first, open it up to Proverbs 1 or Psalm 1 or whatever, you know. Yeah. And so we just kind of talk and study the word, um, you know, together uh, from time to time, not like mm -hmm. every day or whatever, but, you know, uh, that type of thing. So the the spiritual aspects of trying to uh, pour into them, that's not that hard. Um, but getting them to... <laughs> Walk it out. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Do it. Walk in it. <laughs> yeah. Consistent. That's a whole other thing, yeah. right? And so... Um, so, you know, it can be frustrating, of course. It is challenging. Um, again, we have our differences, uh, you know, in things that we do. Um, and we are busy. We have businesses. We have, you know, work. And right. then, of course, kids. And so, you know, with the dynamics of time and all of this and all of that, it's like, okay, you know, y'all need to come on with it. Like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't have time to, like, babysit y'all through life. Like, right. I yeah. need y'all to get it. But, um, but, you know, I, I trust God. I know mm -hmm. that they're going to yeah. come through. You know, Seems I know that yeah. they won't be this way at 35. Right. Praise God. Yeah. So, you know, that's what that's what I'm believing. You you will get it one day yeah. or it's whatever. Encouraging. In, in some ways, you're, you know, people say you're your own biggest critic. It can be the same for your kids. Like yeah. people tell me someone may compliment the kids about how amazing they are. And I'm thinking, yeah, I'm smiling, <laughs> thinking they are. I'm like, but you don't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I'm sure they're doing better. There's more growth. You know, yeah. we see them every day. I'm, I know that the yeah. seeds of the word of God and character yes. and love are being planted. And, right. and they're right. going to grow. Yes, and so absolutely. they're thriving and doing well in certain aspects. And certain aspects, we want we want to see more growth. But it's the same thing for all of us. Yeah. 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 We just don't have a parent above us kind of critic criticizing and, and critiquing and right. adjusting like we are to them. So I, think I think that's, that's important when you're like choosing a church or where you're, you know, being where you're planted is making sure that like your kids are also getting, that's like valuable. you talked about yeah. how rich it is. Well, it has to be the same for our children mm -hmm. too. You mm -hmm. know, if Addie didn't have her classes where she was learning to like speak in tongues, learn, right. learning about the yeah. Holy Spirit, right. learning about all of these things sure. that we might not always have the time mm -hmm. to That's invest true. in them. We have to choose a church where they're getting that. Yeah, they can make up right. the yes, difference. Yes, make up the difference, yeah. exactly. And yeah. being reinforced, you know, what you guys are teaching Absolutely. at home. Right. And the church is reinforcing yes. that same message. Exactly. Absolutely. So it's, and you're yeah. talking about Proverbs where it says train up a child in the way you yeah. Should go should and he know. won't. Yes. When he's old, he won't depart from it. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah. that's part of that training, mm -hmm. the church coming up under you. And you're yes. spot on. It's not a given that every church has has it coming from both directions, so to speak. Sometimes the word word is great right. for adults, and the children's ministry is completely lacking. Yeah, you know, it's not just that. babysitting. It's yeah. not just a place exactly for them right. to absolutely. watch our kids. You know, they it need to be ministry. getting what. That's right. What we're getting, and I, I mean, that's what one of the biggest things I love about this church is how 
invested we are in the yes. next generation. Absolutely. Absolutely. And yeah. it makes such yeah. a difference because, you know, in society right now, it's, you know, all kind of stuff going on, especially racially, mm -hmm. you know, and culturally, you know, it's like where they go to school, <clears throat> it is a, um, a all boys school, but, um, and it's, it's a smaller school compared to most public schools, but, um, you know, there's just a culture in society in this generation now of like, you know, the hip hop culture, you know, how they dress, how they carry themselves, how they talk, you know, the language that they use um, and, and those mm -hmm. types of things. Um, and then on the racial side, you know, you have even adults meaning, you know, well-meaning, but, mm -hmm. you know, they're trying to, you know, these you know, young black men are endangered species and, you know, y'all got to walk like this and carry yourself like that. And, you know, you got to project yourself like this and that, yeah. you know, oh, yeah. and it's like, okay, as parents, you know, we're telling them like, you are a Christian first and before anything That's else, right. black, right. white or whatever, right. you know, Leave we are, first. you know, Christians and, and all of this other stuff is like secondary. Right. Yeah. But what is encouraging is that when they hear those things or they, you know, get comments like that, they come back and they're like, oh, well, so-and-so said this, but I don't really go for that. Because they understand the foundation. Yes, they may yeah. not say, well, mm -hmm. at church we learned this or that, but they understand just from they that that home church right. combination. Yeah. Yes. They're like, mm, that's <laughs> like a little extra. Or, you know, we just, you know, just shaping their worldview. Right. You know, right. And not, right. you know, uh, but those are challenges that we have to, you know, combat what, the society and the world, the school systems sure. are, you know, like yeah. indoctrinating. Yes. With, you know, right. yes. Identity that, is everything. If, if, yeah. if, if, as parents, I think one of the number one goals a good father and mother should have is to instill that child's identity, their understanding of who they are. Right. And like Aaliyah said, in Christ. Mm -hmm. Because right. I told a friend of mine once and it, he almost fell out of the car and he just couldn't understand. I said, I'm a, I'm a Christian first. I'm a black man separate. And so are you. Like, we, we, that should be our identity. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, not in yes. our race. It's yeah. not in our political yes. views. It's not in which football team we like. Some of you guys are sinners and working with the other teams. <laughs> not Dallas Cowboy fans, but we'll pray for y'all. But your identity <laughs> should be in Christ first and in him alone. Yes. yes. And that's just how it is. But if the, if the parents aren't the ones that are doing that, then our children are not going to know. They're right. going to have identity issues. Sure. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's what sure. we're trying to avoid yes. like the, you know what i mean we have to be the one it's yeah. all just there's yes. plenty yeah. of identity issues there's, in the world right? it is right yes. but you're yeah. not a cat yeah. you're not yeah, a, yeah. whatever yeah. mongoose well, mm -hmm. it's like pastor it justin said the biggest problem in the world is the deficit and i think that that's that everything we're dealing with you can line it up and a lot of it comes back to identity yes mm -hmm. people don't know who they are yeah. and they're trying to enforce who other people should be so on and so forth a lot of right. it comes back to identity that's yeah. good. But yeah. that to yeah, me, when when it. Lucas comes home and and kind of the same thing, like, oh, this teacher said something like this in class, and like I know, you know, how the earth was formed. God spoke yeah. to me. There wasn't yeah, no absolutely. big bang, something, yeah. right? And right. And when I hear him saying that, like unprompted, it's like, yeah, it, it's yes. kind of the same thing as somebody yeah. saying, Inversion. like, oh, your yeah. boys are so yeah, yeah, yeah. well behaved, like, yes, okay, but it's not, yeah. it's not, it's yeah. not like. I'll find Addie repeating things that I've said, and I'm like, okay, I was just joking. You know what I mean? <laughs> but it it's, yeah, it's all perfect. You, we have to be speaking the word, yeah, right. not That's like it. our personal yes. opinions or what we're feeling. You, it has to be the word because they will. I'm like, Addie, yes. like it was the That's Super Bowl. Good. We were talking about the Super and I had like made some comment about Taylor Swift and whatever, whatever, and don't come for me. But <laughs> I had made some like comment, and don't she repeated me. that, and I was like, Addie, I, it was just a joke. <laughs> you don't gotta say that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? But we have to be speaking the word so over true. them not right. just our personal yeah absolutely you know what i does that yeah. make sense yeah, yeah. yeah. i had a yeah. sense recently and I, I won't say the lord said but i was just kind of getting on to one of the boys or maybe I, I can't remember the details but later on i think i just i had a sense of like god was kind of saying like watch how you talk to my sons and it was i won't wow. say god said because it wasn't like i heard it but it was like an understanding right. that i need to be careful how I speak to, because I wasn't demeaning them or, you know, de degrading them and talking right. down to them, but I wasn't, I guess it wasn't the word. It was kind of pointing right. out some negatives and trying to improve. That was my heart to try to encourage that and get them build so up. That is so good. That kind of yeah, shook me because these are not my sons, but they are, but they're not. Yeah. That right? is but they so are, but they're not. And yeah. I'm just a steward of them. But yeah, he said, watch how you talk to my sons. That is so wow. Yeah. good. That's my I, first time. I loved that. I, I loved that. that. You know, that's kind of, I, I loved that. I know. That was so, that, <laughs> oh, that's so good. That's good. Yeah. 
I, I took that. I like that. Awesome. <laughs> well, there, you guys have been here. You know, it's on the stage. Yeah. We're making winners in life. So yeah. we just want to know, what does that mean to each of you? Whew. How much time do we have on that one? That's, that's, <laughs> a, that's a loaded question. Um, I'll start on that one. Um, Paul said in Philippians 2.12, 3.12, I believe it is, you know, we press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of us. And if you break down that sentence, it's saying on the front end, Paul's pressing on, and we know everything he went through, chains and beatings and all that right. he went through is right. in that press on. So basically he went through all of that for that, which is the top of that sentence. I press on to take hold of that. So his focal point was that. Was that. And then on the bottom side of the sentence, it then says, for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. So Jesus also took hold of and everything we know he went through mm-hmm. naturally, and we'll never really understand what he went through spiritually, but we know what he went through naturally mm-hmm. on the cross. Physically. Yes. So he endured all of that also for that same that. So the question is, what is that that? Right? What is the that? <laughs> yeah. What's so important about the that? And I believe that that's life, that that's everything, all of his purpose, his calling, everything he intended on you to do for his kingdom, all your experiences, your, your experiences, your relationship, your uh, your health, your success, your career, everything that your life encompasses is the that. And there's a purpose in there. And so for me, making winners in life is making sure I'm doing everything I can to take hold of that and whatever that means and making sure I'm teaching my sons to pursue that. Because for a long time, we talked to them about success and we thought we were doing good and training them up for success. And son, if you want to be successful, you want to have options. Money gives you options. We explain to them. It's not the money. It's the options it produces. And so if you have money, you can do this for the kingdom. So, so it's all about success. But we recently made an adjustment. It's about accomplishing the calling of God on your life. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. you can say that's success, but that's the focus. Mm-hmm. I don't want them pursuing a, a, a career in the legal field because they make a lot of money over there. Right. Or the medical field. If God's called him over here to do this. Yeah. Right? That's and good. And so for me, it's just pursuing and being after. And I heard a minister recently say, uh, Pastor Troy Brewer, he mentioned um, Jesus. He had a dream. I won't get into the story, but the end result was Jesus told him, you need to be in the fast lane fully engaged and on go, go, go mode. And man, that's, I felt like Jesus told me that I'm getting a third (laughs) person from him, but I'm feeling like, I feel like he told me and that's how we need to be in life. We're not playing it safe, not being passive, not praying about a move for three months. There's a time and place for that. I'm not knocking it, but taking action, right? You know, Paul, Paul was moving about his life and doing, and Paul had to be restrained by the Holy spirit. He was so much in go mode. Yeah. And us, many times, we're not, the Holy Spirit's pushing us out. Hey, go make some mistakes. Go mess up. Go yeah. get out there. Go get busy. And so I'll just say that being in the fast lane, being fully engaged yeah. <clears throat> with the winning mindset that whatever I put my hands to do within the will of God, mm-hmm. being checked by the Spirit and obeying, it's going to prosper. Yes. So why wouldn't we run up the score on the enemy? Why <laughs> right? would we stay and win by two or win by last minute, second Hail yeah. Mary in life? Yeah. Like I want to run up the score on yeah. the enemy and on life. That's, That's good. Awesome. That's how I would just. Okay, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, no, I, I would say for me, uh, a winner in life is to know him. Amen. Period. Simple. Mm-hmm. Just Amen. to know Christ. That's good. And um, and all that that encompasses, it doesn't need a whole lot of words. It's just the word of God, knowing God, relationship, fellowship with God. And then all these other things, you know, yeah, it'll work out. It'll be good. But knowing God is the winning in life. Knowing God. And Love that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's how the Jesus defined eternal life is really the knowledge of God, knowing him. That's yeah. exactly right. right. He came to give us eternal life, which was to know God. That's a perfect answer. Oh, yeah. That was thank you. I could have just said that. Right? No, yours was yeah. really good too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that wraps up this episode of Winning Conversations. Remember to check us out on Instagram, like us, follow YouTube, all the things, all the things. <laughs> so, come back next week for another Winning Conversation. <laughs>